I'm Mark Bruno, the Director of Online Content and Data for Investment News, and we're here in Orlando at the 2012 TD Ameritrade Institutional Conference. We've had the chance to talk with some of the top executives and the top advisors in the field about just how much growth potential there is in the RIA space and where that growth will actually come from. I have no doubt that, that the RIA industry and its fiduciary model, Jim, is absolutely the future of financial advice to individuals. I think it's growing, it's the fastest growing space in financial uh, services. I showed the statistic before in my presentation that advisors 2005 through the end of 2011 have grown at a rate of 45%. Compare that to the old model, the wire houses. They've grown, but at a rate of only 6%. And there's a reason for that. And that's because investors are choosing the fiduciary model over the old fashioned sales model. People want that fiduciary model. They want that unbiased, objective advice that an independent RIA can provide. We need to capitalize on that, get our message out that this is a better way to do business with us. And then I think through that, we'll continue to see that long-term growth trend. Many advisors are finding, especially those that don't have integrated technologies, is that they're spending a disproportionate amount of time on back office inefficiencies and not enough time on uh, client interaction and helping to grow and nurture their relationships with their clients. RIA's biggest challenge for themselves, they just have to get out of their own way. Too many IAs got into this business because they love the business of advice. They like counseling individuals. And they, we get a real joy out of helping people achieve their goals. What we discover along the way of doing that is that we find ourselves immersed in unrelated activities like signing office leases and buying photocopiers and telephones and we find ourselves spending time with HR and IT and compliance and trading and operations, which is none of those are the reasons we got into this field. So what we need to do is get out of our own way. Instead of us doing those things, hire people to do them for us. Delegate the chores of running a practice to other people so that we can focus on the reason we got into this business, which is advising clients. The number one thing that's going to get in the way is bringing new people in the firm to try to spark growth that are not culturally a right fit. It's very dangerous if you come from a culture. I came from Schwab, for instance. If we start bringing in Merrill Lynch people who are not our culture, it's going to sour the soup. So I think it's very important as you grow, not only to worry about the type of clients that you have, but also who are you letting in the doors? Who are you hiring?